In this video, we will show you how to replace your cabin air filter on this Kia Forte Coupe. This will be located behind your glove box. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. To replace the cabin air filter, we're going to have to open up our glove box. Remove anything that might be on the inside. Once you've done that, we'll be focusing along the outboard side here. In this area, you're going to find a small shock that's held in place down along the bottom and it makes its way up inside there. The only area that we really need to pay attention to is down along the bottom. We're going to squeeze on this locking here and pull this out of place. With that dislodged, let's focus our attention inside of the glove box. Along each side of the glove box, you're going to find that you have locking tabs. Those locking tabs are turnable. What we need to do is go ahead and lift up on this just enough that we can twist those counterclockwise and pull them towards the center of the glove box to remove them. There's one. We'll repeat the process on the other side. With both of those dislodged, we'll carefully start lowering this down so we can gain access to the cabin air filter located just in this area. Now that we have that lowered, we have a clear view of where our cabin air filter is going to be located. You'll find that this is held in place with a protective cover. We have to remove the cover and to do that along each side, it has squeezable tabs. You squeeze them in, gently pull it rearward. Repeat the process on both sides. Once you've completed that, you can start pulling this out and down and slide it out of place. That exposes the cabin air filter. Sometimes it comes out like what we have here. Other times you have to carefully reach inside a little bit to remove it. Remove your cabin air filter. There it is, friend. One last quick inspection in this area and we can prepare to install our cabin air filter. When installing the cabin air filter, you want to ensure you have it in the proper orientation. We'll slide it right on in. Now we can install our plastic cover. We'll be paying attention to those locking tabs along each side. Come in at an angle, starting the top end first. We'll bring this around along the bottom and lock it in. Double check to make sure it's completely secure. After confirming that, we can start reattaching our glove box here. We'll swing this up and install each of our two locking tabs. When installing these, you want to turn them clockwise. There's one. This one in here. There's the other one. Now we'll make our way down along the side there. We have the shock that will have to fit over that area of the glove box. Just give that a little tug, make sure it's secured in place. You don't want that falling off. At this point, you can reinstall any of the miscellaneous items that you had inside the glove box and close the glove box. Okay, friend, we finished the installation of our cabin air filter. At this point, you wanna go ahead and put the key in the on position and test the blower motor functionality on all speeds, ensuring you have no odd vibrations and no noises. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.